YG Data Milo's mad. Uh, wow, there are a lot of yeah, it's poke chop, y'all. <laughs> long names here. <laughs> Hype man, Pochop in the house. No, this is in Murfreesboro, Safacom. Murfreesboro. The M Borough. I'm leaving out. Round one. Yeah, everyone needs to just go straight to character slate once they sit down at the stream set up. Oh my god, stream. Gigas. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that guy can do damage. Yeah, see he, he actually was a pretty good player. No, he just, yeah. Uh, he uh he's from the Midwest. I played him in other tournaments. I've seen him around. Yeah, I know I've seen him before, I just didn't recognize he him. He was a uh, Ganryu player. Ganryu not in this game, right. unfortunately. Zafina too, like really weird choices. So I think Gigas suits him. And I didn't hit him with too many really janky things. I got him on some whiffs, and I just uh, capitalized. The low launcher, it, I think that really got you like... It's, I mean, if he comes in swinging, I'm going to evade it too. But just yeah. like, I caught him a bunch out of range, and I have long legs with that character. Right, so you got the long legs, and Gigas has long arms. Yeah, exactly. But it's a cool character. I kind of shot away from Gigas. I'm also a Marduk player, and they're very similar in style. Kind of shot away because he wasn't that great in vanilla, but he got a lot of tools in this game. Like, Gigas could really scare you. So, he, so, Bill, I have to ask. Sure. Are we going to see Miguel from you today? Not not yet. <laughs> not yet? I've been, I've been, been dabbling using. in other characters, and honestly, when I first picked up Miguel, he really felt like his limbs were way shorter than they than they felt in Tag 2. Yeah, he's, his, his character model is noticeably smaller on yeah. this game. And it's I'm so invested weird. in Katarina and now my other characters as well. So, someday, but not not today. Yeah, see, that's been the impression, you know, that you know you were just using Katarina until Miguel, yeah. you know. All, all last year I was Katarina, and I really do like her, and I really do think she can go far. Like, she may not be the strongest, but again, she has tools for every situation, and that's what I'm familiar with. All right, here we go. This matchup between Pokechop and uh, YG oh, Data Mines. Didn't something. see Pokechop was here. Uh, let's see. You can find a very, I'll say, interesting set of Pokechop versus the real law on YouTube if you Google it, stream. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a very funny, very entertaining set. He was a Bruce player. Bruce not in this game now. Now he's playing Brian. I figured that would be the case. Let's see this data tag. I'm not sure if that's a local wow. clan or... Yeah, it's a really long yeah. name. I'm messing what? it up. I'm yeah. butchering it every time. But let's see. I know Pokechop plays a ton of games. And he is uh, solid all around with a lot of things. And he will also run his mouth. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. But he's playing serious now. Going with the soccer kicks. Looking really strong so far with Brian. Yeah. Just willing to challenge. Just willing to go in. Wow, those tank councils are crisp, I see. Yeah. He's starting to feel himself. Pokechop could go far in this tournament, for sure. Oh, definitely. Definitely a top top five finish. Don't you agree? Oh, sure. Anything could happen, though. You could run into right. some back ones with Steve, just like it's Milo Mads has done so far. But then he gets launched for his trouble. All right, nice. That no soccer kick Pokechop. was a counter hit launcher in a previous iteration of Tekken. But now he doesn't get the, the full combo anymore off the counter hit. But he gets a full combo off that stun. Oh, yeah. Uh, he missed the ball carry. That was going to hurt. Uh, Steve, uh, Steve's uh, Albatross follow up uh, safer on this game. Like the, uh, both his mid both, options. Both uh, these characters are probably safe. my top five. I mean, they're really solid. Steve has like an unblockable in this iteration of the game now. All right, Pokechop was their first match. But Pokechop has uh, just taken them, yeah. Quickly and easily. 
All right, uh, YG needs to uh, get on board. For this second match, two real brawler characters. Steve, the British boxer. I'm not sure what Brian is, but he's a killer, <laughs> basically. Oh, he's definitely in a, a cyborg. Yeah. Oh, a little mix up with the jumping low. Gets him. Oh, yes. YG is sitting back. He's, oh, yes. Yeah. That's a good strategy. Like good adaption, yeah. Let him, let him coming in with. He's playing Take advantage. Advantage. like a boxer right now. He's yeah. Gets the low, gets the follow up. Oh, wow. Nice mix up. From the Albatross. This is some signs of life from Milo. I see Poke Chop finally punish the uh, Albatross low yeah. with the uh, correct punish, which is last standard three. Because it, it used to be uh, launch punishable, but it isn't anymore. Poke Chop was down, gets all the way back. That's a high, but safe. Oh, he ducks oh, it, does it just it. a jab. Uh, he should have just ducked it and, right. and launched. Pokechop has knowledge, it seems. I know ATL didn't really get to a whole lot of uh, last year's tournaments outside of Anakin, who just won all of them. <laughs> right. Yeah, Anakin and Speed Kick, so. I guess, between the two of them, like, yeah, they took all of the uh, Wizard World events. Right. Anakin got, like, second at the King of Iron Fist for North America, got a trip to Japan. Really strong. Pokechop from the same community, losing two rounds, but answering back in the third. I <laughs> know the bound is gone, man. You have to do your uh, tail spins now. Yeah. Milo trying to close out the game point, and he oh, gets wow. him with the stump. The All right, we got well, ourselves a match. Poke chop might be playing with his set. food. Yeah, sure, he's looking serious over there. Let's he see. looks on phase. Right. He looks like he's got this. He's got. Lots of tournament experience. All right. Game three. Let's go. And that man can get really serious. You play that man for money. You play Pochap for money, you'll see the serious game come out. And here it comes. With the quick win. Round two. The adaption. No longer whiffing. All get stomped on, though. All right, stream for those who are just now tuning in. This is Lil Majin. I am uh, partnered by uh, Mr. Mr. Bill. Bill. What's up, stream? And here we are. We are Poach Out versus YG Data Milo Mads. Uh, right. <laughs> guy with got the name right. The, like, 20 acronyms. And it is 1-1 one, one on the winner's side. Uh, Poach Out <laughs> definitely playing now. Just trying to jab him to death. You're watching the Midwest Championship here in Tennessee. You got a good amount of Tekken coming your way. Oh, yeah. This entire tournament is three out of five. Right. Every, every match. It's going to require a lot of depth, a lot of adaption, a lot of opportunity to win. And Milo is now coming back from two rounds down. All right. So far, this set has been very one-sided, yes. like on both ends. Right. As, as Pope Chop oh, was saying. Oh, that's going to work. Is, is it going to work? Yes. He's definitely going to work. All right. Win. He's got one round on board now. YG, Dada, Milo Mads is still in this. He's still breathing. Game point for Pope Chop. 1-1, one, one, first to three. Good low parry. Oh, wow, he just knew that was coming. Goes for the wall carry. Doesn't get him there. Misses the soccer kick. Nah, he doesn't know the combo to that yet. Right. But Steve does get a full But he gets it. He knows how to throw, and that's working. Going for a full crotch mix up. He gets Orville heal. Yeah, so far it's not going downstairs. It's early on, so, you know, people are just doing without right now. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Oh, what a real punish. Okay. <laughs> Final round. Wins the third match. Slow -mo. I love the slow mo situation, too. Oh, yeah, it is pretty nice. Nice addition. Oh, yeah, doing like a tag one combo. Oh, wow. New, New string. Right. Let's see if he knows. But he actually gets counter hit. Oh, wow. Oh, Chap doing the old stuff, too. Ending his combos with back one. Oh, yeah. Stream for that uh that knockdown right there. Once you uh, bounce and cut a back flip, you can hold up and back yeah. to recover standing. So you won't, you know, give your opponent a free ground hit. Oh, Chap. Close it out. 
third. Two to one in this first of three. I feel like I've seen Milo around. He might, he might go to other Midwest tournaments. I don't know. Yeah, I see a lot of familiar faces. Right. I just, you know, I just don't know the name, but obviously not with this. <laughs> this very long name. This is a new, new Tekken, a lot of new players. It's good to see. Pochow gets the counter hit. Opens up for big damage. Wall carry gets him all the way there. Gets oh, the full yeah. combo. Full, Follows full up. Damage. Working on a perfect. Can he do oh, it? He, he can. gets it. As soon as you said it. Before the commentator's <laughs> <No>. curse happens. <laughs> I might be up next or soon, Scream. Ah, oh, very nice wall combo. Hook chop up and not to take him down. Oh, wow. I got a match. And you got right. a match too, but I'll be back. Yeah, when he comes back, I'll be back. Okay. All right, he's watching here. I'm solo right now on the commentary. And it's looking like uh, Poke Chop is about to finish this set with a 3-1 uh, record. He has Rage. Uh, what is he going to do with it? Oh, he gets countered. Mm, no win pose today, huh? Okay. 